Do you own a fuel management system or you're maybe in the market for one? Stick around, you're, you're gonna wanna watch this video. Hello everyone, I am your SN2 Superfan and as you probably know, good fleet managers know the importance of not just working hard, but also working smart. When it comes to fuel management though, many fail to reap the full benefits of automated fuel management systems. Automation done wrong will decidedly do more harm than good, so today we'll go over some of the pitfalls you may face in deploying this rewarding technology. We've covered fuel management systems for fleets in a previous video, but minor variations aside, the basic premise generally goes something like this. Users will drive up to a pump and then authenticate the vehicle and optionally themselves. This is typically done on a fuel island terminal permanently mounted near the dispensers with a combination of RFID fobs or cards and manual input on the terminal keypad. Fleets with in-house fueling facilities or fuel trucks need and usually have a fuel management system, but a number of commonly encountered issues can erode the rewards you justifiably expect from your investment. Let's now go over some of those common challenges. A nearly universal law of any tracking and management system is the introduction of extra steps into the business process and fuel management is no exception. Unfortunately, the concerns and motivations of system users and system owners and managers don't always line up. Here again, fuel management is no exception. Drivers, operators, and floor staff sometimes just don't have the patience for it. Shortcuts may be taken and misallocation, misattribution, and general mismanagement ensue in the name of expedited refueling. Common ways of bypassing important fueling steps include inputting inaccurate data simply because it's easier to key in something like 000 for vehicle mileage, for instance. Passing the nozzle forward to the next person in line without closing out the transaction, which is usually just recradling the dispenser nozzle, therefore bypassing the second user's authentication entirely. Pin or card sharing, and switching the system to bypass mode unnecessarily. So to no one's surprise, you get a loss of tracking and accountability, bad data in need of cleansing, recurring and unprofitable administrative chores, and so on. Clearly not the kinds of impact you hope for when deploying technology. In a world where technology is ubiquitous, it is not uncommon for users to try and circumvent a new control system. This is sometimes motivated by a desire to escape Big Brother's watchful eye, but other more nefarious motives, such as fuel theft, are also in the mix. Nonetheless, control, track, and manage that valuable fuel we must in service of both planet and profits. And we can't help but note that non-automated vehicle authentication methods harbor serious trouble for the integrity of an otherwise fine fuel management system. The problem is that once a legitimate vehicle number is keyed in, the system has no way of knowing whether or not the vehicle is physically present. Tagging the vehicle with RFID and combining it with a long range reader somewhere improves the situation somewhat since the system can now verify actual vehicle presence. But even in this case, the opportunity remains for pumping fuel into a different vehicle instead of, or in addition to the approved company asset. Every vehicle has many fill pipes for different fluids used by various vehicular systems. This is normally not a problem since they are readily distinguished by their size, form, or location. But many classes of industrial equipment, found notably in public works, construction, and mining, are designed to have multiple fuel or hydraulics tanks that accept very different products, yet might easily be mistaken for one another. Since basic fuel management systems have no way to discern which fill pipe the nozzle is inserted into, a distracted worker may well dispense diesel into, say, the hydraulic tank port of a high-priced piece of machinery with pretty devastating consequences. Fuel management systems are a must for fleet operations, but don't ever believe that implementing one doesn't come with its own set of challenges as with any other change to a suboptimal status quo. Operational friction, users cheating the system, and multiple tanks on expensive equipment are the main hurdles to overcome when it comes to standard fuel management systems. But as long as you're aware of them and have a plan on how to tackle them, the benefits will outweigh the costs and challenges by far. That'll be it for this video. Do check out our fuel management solutions over at coincorp.com where we also have blogs on the topic of fleet management. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep it efficient.